EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marshall here with your outlook for the weekend, February 3rd and 4th, 2024. It is Saturday, and the weekend video forecast is proudly sponsored by L.H. Zimmerman Lawn and Garden in Ephrata, Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. They're a small family business that supplies snow and ice control equipment to Pennsylvania and surrounding states. They carry a large supply of salt dog slide-in and receiver hitch spreaders, Fisher snow plows, Arians snow blowers, and Arians Mammoth sidewalk equipment. Along with new equipment, they also carry an on-hand supply of parts for Salt Dog, Fisher, and Arians. The benefit of purchasing from a small family business is they provide after-hours service for their equipment if you break down in a snowstorm. Stop in at their location at 730 Glenwood Drive in Ephrata, Pennsylvania, or give them a call at the phone number above me here in the video, 717-733-4193. They'll be happy to assist you or answer any of your questions. They are L.A. Zimmerman Lawn and Garden in Ephrata, of Pennsylvania, proud sponsors of the weekend video forecast, and they are the title sponsor for the Weather Weekly's videos every Sunday throughout the winter months. So we have uh, started looking at the temperature anomalies here first. This is, uh, we're going to have a, uh, a very nice stretch here over the next several days, okay? Uh, but generally near to slightly above average temperatures through about Wednesday. Once we get past Wednesday, we're going to have a little bit of a warm-up, and we talked about this in the long-range outlook that we did yesterday, um, or that I did yesterday. Uh, then they're going to have this warm-up here for a couple days, most notably uh, once we get to about February 8th, which is uh, Thursday, so it's going to start increasing a little bit, and then it goes up to, uh, this goes all the way through about the 11th, and then we just are slightly above average for a couple days after that. And then we have a transition right around Valentine's Day in the middle of the month until we, and, and then we transition to this, which is a lot colder temperatures coming in for the second half of the month. So if you are a snow lover, if you are a lover of the cold and the winter temperatures, it is coming back and this is going to be sustainable. We talked about this in length yesterday in the long range outlook, but it all comes down to blocking and some favorable uh, phases of the Madden Julian oscillation. So if you want to read up on that, that is in the pattern discussion that I did in yesterday's long range outlook. As far as our sensible weather though, we really don't have too much to deal with at all. Uh, we're looking at, uh, yes, the sun is going to be out in abundance this weekend for a change. And it has been, uh, a long time since we've had several consecutive days of sunny weather. We might've had one little day where you had kind of like a mix of sun and clouds, in between an otherwise two-week stretch of just dull and dreary and gray. Uh, we're going to have several consecutive days, actually today through Wednesday. It looks like you're mostly sunny all throughout that period, which will be nice, okay? So we have a system that's going to be off to our south this weekend that is going to continue to stay off to the south. And uh, we are going to have temperatures that will be slightly above average this weekend, uh, lower, lower, lower to middle 40s today, and then we get to middle to upper 40s here for Sunday. So a pretty nice weekend uh, for out, anything you're doing outdoors. And then Monday and Tuesday, we take a slight step back in temperatures, and it'll stay that way here on Wednesday before we start increasing the temperatures toward the end of the week. And we have ridging moving in ahead of this cold front, which is going to come through on Friday. Now, uh, Friday is going to start off mostly cloudy. We'll have a chance for showers later in the day or at night, more likely overnight. Okay, and that's with this cold front here. Just a few light showers, though. Nothing looking like it's going to be heavy, but the big story will be once you get to Thursday, your temperatures are on either side of 50, and then you get up in the middle 50s, either side of the middle 50s for highs here on Friday until this cold front moves through on Saturday, and we get some lower temperatures behind that. So we will have temperatures going up uh, and uh, before, the, it, before the middle of the month, and then we have uh, some systems here behind this. It might be a winter storm signal behind this. We'll see. I think it's once we get past the middle of the month, though, we have the legitimate snow chances coming in, and that's going to be when you have this cold established and in place okay once we have the cold there you're giving yourself a fighting chance for for snow okay it might not be uh, a boatload of snow we don't know that yet uh, but uh, you know there, there are certainly chances as long as it's cold enough to support snow and you have any precipitation you can get snow okay that's the whole idea let's get the temperatures changed first if you're a snow lover and then worry about the snow chances as they come individually one at a time. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for the weekend, February 3rd and 4th, 2024. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.